Hello and welcome to the Ageless Abodes podcast. I'm your host, Brenda Douglas, and I help people 50 and older to gracefully age in place, downsides or right sides into the perfect home. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new episode. And let me be the first to welcome you to the homeowner tribe, where we empower you to not only procure a home investment, but to also maintain and keep it. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So in this episode, I want to talk to you about the things that I love about Prince George's County, Maryland. Now, I know that every place has its pros and cons, but I mean, I have lived here most of my life. I am a native here. I have moved away a few times and I've definitely moved between the DMV. The DMV stands for the District of Columbia, Maryland and Northern Virginia, for those of you who are not aware. And actually, guys, I am, um, first of all, subscribed to this uh, Ageless Abodes podcast, but then I also have a YouTube channel. So if you're curious about what it's like to live here in the DMV, I feature community events there. I also give you relevant um, real estate related information. So go ahead and um, hop on over to that YouTube and subscribe to my channel. It is Live. Um, now see, oh my gosh, I just changed the name of this YouTube channel. It is Live, Laugh, Love DMV. Got it. Okay, so head on over there and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing some of the community events that we have here in the DMV because there is always, always something to do here in the DMV. So now, as I stated before, every place has its pros and cons. And listen, I started off with 10 things that I love about Prince George's County, Maryland, where that list has grown to over 20, right? So sit tight because I'm going to list the um, things that I love about Prince George's County, Maryland. Now, let me just say that I am a native of Prince George's County, although I've lived in different places, especially across the DMV. Um, the DMV stands for District of Columbia, Maryland, and Northern Virginia, for those of you who are not familiar. But I've moved across them all. I've lived in all three. And yet at the same time, I've also lived in other places. So so, but um, home for me is Prince George's County, Maryland. It's where I was b grew up. I'm not going to say this where I was born. I wasn't born in Prince George's County, Maryland, but I grew up in Prince George's County, Maryland, went to grade school here. And so, um, yeah, so I'm familiar with Prince George's County, Maryland. So if you're considering moving to the Maryland area and you want to explore Prince George's County, Maryland, go ahead and reach out to me. My contact information is going to be in the description as well as my website and things of that nature. So like like I said, I started off with the list of 10 things that I like about Prince George's County, Maryland, and the list grew, right? The more I dug and dug and dug, I was like, oh yeah, let me put that. Yeah, let me put that. So here we go. One of the things I like about Prince George's County, Maryland is that we have a variety of of home styles from condos to apartments to duplexes. You know, we don't, some areas have cookie cutter homes as they call it. And yet at the same time, some communities have a wide variety of style homes in one community. Some of our communities have HOAs. Some of, some people consider that a good thing, HOAs a good thing. And some people consider it HOAs a bad thing. I actually did a video about HOAs, um, and some insane rules, right? So you might want to check out that um video. Again, that's on my YouTube channel, actually. So again, that is Live, Laugh, Love, DMV. So again, you want to head on over there to check those out. 
Prince George's County, Maryland has a lot of libraries. And I want to say that there's a library in every city. What I really love about these libraries is that, first of all, they're, they're all being remodeled right now, right? But they've been around forever. And the library allows people to use their library card to get on the computer. Now, this has been important to me because there were times when I did not have a computer at home, right? And yet I needed to apply for jobs, right? I needed to do some pro something productive on the computer screen so that I can keep my mind occupied during those times when I was unemployed, right? You're also able to print documents from the library, right? We have, yes, we do have our staples and office supply stores, but we are also able to print documents from the library and you get a certain number free. And then after that, you have to pay a very cheap price, right? So we have the ability to print um, in our libraries. Our libraries also have um, the internet, and then we also have it where we can reserve meeting rooms and conference rooms. So entrepreneurs or nonprofits may have some type of um, meeting where they need to bring people together or even a training. I, I would do home buy-in seminars there. So you are able to use those meeting rooms and conference rooms um, for your events, right? Prince George's County, Maryland has 35 neighborhood community centers. Okay, we have community centers. Now, what I like about these community centers is, yes, they do have rental space where you can rent out a room. But they also, these community centers have a fitness center within them. So you can get a membership and um, you can, um, you know, work out in the, in the community center. Some community centers have indoor swimming pools. Some of them have outdoor swimming pools and some of them have no swimming pools. But the community center, um, it is a place, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say a gathering place, but a community center is a place where you can have meetings, is a place where you can go and get information about the community. And it is again where we have events where people can rent out the room and have events and expos as well. Prince George's County, Maryland has four regional parks, right? And of course the parks, again, we have community events. That's one of the things I love, love, love about the DMV is the fact that we have a lot of community events. These are events and expos where the community comes together, right? And they'll have uh, music and live music, I should say, live music and bands. They'll have um uh, live music and bands, they'll have, uh, what is it, vendors. They'll have lots of vendors. Sometimes they have parades at these events. Like there are lots of opportunities or times when the community comes together. I used to think that every place did the same thing until I moved to North Raleigh. And I was like, where is everybody? <laughs> anyway, guys. So, uh, again, Prince George's County has a lot of parks. Some of the parks have petting zoos. Some of them have nature centers. They definitely have trails. They have those, um, those fields, those sports fields, you know, where people can play, um, rent out the space to pay, uh, for their, their games, for their baseball games or their basketball courts or some, some parks have the skate, um, skate parks. <clears throat> so, we have parks here in the Prince George's and in, in the um yeah in Prince George's County Maryland uh, but I want to say I mean the other thing you can do is you can rent out it's it's like a pavilion right is it's a um it's a concrete and it has the little pavilion or the thing that the what is it a shelter on the top and you can rent out that um pavilion to have parties and things of that nature so you can rent it out barbecue there in the um, park some parks actually also have uh, a fitness uh, like a fitness thing where you can as you're walking stop and do some kind of exercise on them right so we have that they have playgrounds on these parks the playgrounds are very large some daycares and go to those parks and then of course the communities go um, you know, people who live in the community go there as well. The other thing is that these parks sometimes have classes. 
Uh, they have classes like uh, it could be arts and craft type of class. It could be knitting or something like that type of class. It could be some type of um, pottery. So they have so many variety or different types of classes. It could be an exercise class that we can sign up for and they have them all throughout the week, right? And the, um, and let me go back to the community center. The community centers are usually open during the weekend, and so are the parks, or you can reserve the parks for the weekend as well, the pavilions, that is. Prince George's County, Maryland, has six national historic landmarks. Now, I'm going to have to do a video on these things separate, so I'm going to save this list, and I'm going to dive into it and do a video uh, for each one of these things, because again, I like to expose people to what it's like to live here in the DMV. So again, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will put the link to that channel in the description. And actually, if you look on the, um, if you look on my, well, actually I'll put the link. I'm, I'm not going to, I'll put the link in the description. The other thing is Prince George's County, Maryland has 106 historic places within the county, right? Um, the other thing is that there are two marinas in Prince George's County, Maryland, but there are over 60 marinas within the state of Maryland, right? I love these marinas because I, I don't know, I love the smell of the ocean, right? I love it. It's like heaven. So anyway, we have two here in Prince George's County, Maryland. Some people live um, in the marina, and then some people just store their boats, of course. They may run out of space. Um, or you can just take it to that, um, what is that, That um, I forget what it's called, where you put the boat, um, uh, what is it, boat? It's not a boat lift. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. So anyway, you can take your boat there and get it, put it in the water and enjoy the ocean, the bay, river, whatever. The other thing that I like about Prince George's County, Maryland, is the fact that it is metro accessible. Now, what do, what do I mean by that? I mean that if you do not have a vehicle, you can take the bus or you can take the above ground. Um, actually, we have an underground subway and then we have what's called a, um, a neighborhood or a county bus. Right. So it's the pre, uh, here we have the PG. What is it? The PG. Oh, it's called the bus. And it is the PG bus, meaning that bus go, is only goes in, um, only, mo um, only moves in Prince George's County, Maryland. But the Metro bus and the Metro subway, um, it, the subway is in ground train, uh, in ground train and then above ground train. That is the Metro. Metro bus and the Metro subway goes between DC, Maryland and Virginia. And I love that because you're not just, um, able to travel just within one state. You can travel across the state. So we have the Metro bus and then we have the county bus or the bus, which is only in Prince George's County, Maryland. The only thing, the other thing that I love about Prince George's County, Maryland is that we have community movie theaters where you can buy tickets and actually you can even do matinees. My son and I used to make it a um a family day and we would go to matinees maybe on Saturday or maybe on Sunday when we didn't have anything to do. That was our family outing. And so you go to these movie theaters and, and pretty much watch the um you know movie together like a regular movie theater. But the matinees were cheaper for us. So you know we made it a, a fun thing to do, right? The other thing is Prince George's County, Maryland has three golf course, golf courses, <laughs> right? And a lot of times um, there are, these golf courses are within a community, right? So anyway, there are three golf courses within Prince George's County, Maryland. And sometimes when you live in some of these um, quote unquote golf course communities, because sometimes the um, neighborhood or the community is affiliated with the golf course. And sometimes is it is not, they separate at one time or another, or at least one of them did. And so uh, what I'm saying is that if it's a part of the community, then you get a discount on the, um, on the membership for the golf course. Right. And then there are other, um, the other golf course. I don't, I don't, so anyway, you can get a membership discount if you live in that community, but you have to work that out with them because sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no. The other thing I love about Prince George's County, Maryland, is that we have a lot of restaurants. Now, restaurants and retail stores. Now, let me just say that we used to have 
indoor malls. We used to have several indoor malls. Now, um, I want to say that we have about two indoor malls. And what I mean by indoor malls is um, actually three that I can think of off the top of my head. And what I mean by that is you have different, um, you walk into this huge building and there are stores, there are two levels of stores, nothing but stores. Um, but they have been tearing them down because they're converting them to to outlet centers because they say that it's cheaper to have the individual stores um, operating individually than to have to pay the electric bill for a big building, right? And then they maybe they split the cost. And I guess when you split the cost, you know, sometimes, sometimes some people pay, some people don't when it comes to electricity. So from what I understand, it, it was cheaper for them to go um, the route of the outlet because then each store has to control their own electric, their own utilities type of thing. So that's, that's from what I heard, but we still have a lot of retour, retail stores, right? And I've already said that it's easy to commute from uh, between DC, Northern Virginia and Maryland. Now, the thing is people, a lot of times, and that's why we call it DMV because we, a lot of people uh, go between all of them, right? Like you can live, or I should say work in Washington, D.C., but live in Northern Virginia or Maryland because they're right out across the line, across state lines, right? So they're easily accessible. It's easy for you to commute between them all. Another thing that I like about Prince George's County, Maryland, is they offer help. Like when you, if you are a homeowner, if you need help with your utilities, if you need help with food, if you need, they even have a homeowner repair grant. Um, and then, of course, they have the own home buy-in programs um, for you to be able to, um, you know, have assistance financial assistance when you are purchasing a home. Prince George's County has one airport and we have eight cons conservation areas. So if you are into preservation and historic type of things, then that would be um, the conservation areas may be of interest to you. We have three nature centers. Sometimes these nature centers are connected to the parks, but yet sometimes they're independently. We have four dog parks. Now, I don't know about you, but I love taking my two little dogs to a dog park and let a dog park and letting them run free off the leash. Right now. Yes. Some of these parks, most of these parks require you to register the dog. And actually, the, well, actually, the dogs have to be registered with the state of Maryland. But then also you have to register for the membership to be able to have access into these um these dog parks some of them and you pay a fee right now that i don't like <laughs> but at the same time it is what it is now and if you get your own yard and actually sometimes people just want to take their dogs uh, like me mine need to be socialized more so for me that's a benefit taking them to the dog park so they can interact with other dogs but at the end of the day we do have four dog parks now the other thing that I like about Prince George's County, Maryland, especially since this summer was extremely hot, we have 17 cooling centers. Now, some of these cooling centers are within the community centers, but what they are, what a cooling center is, is if the temperature reach a certain uh, temperature and there is a cold red which is extremely, extremely hot. That's when they're like, okay, if you don't have to be outdoors, don't be outdoors. Like that's what the signal, don't be outdoors. A lot of times when it's a cold red, we don't have to pay the Metro. And then also there are cooling centers that people who are, you know, homeless or um, their AC is not working. These are places where people can go to these cooling centers and cool off for a few hours. And you know, during the evening, the sun sets and um, it cools off. But at the same time, it is so great that they have this cooling centers as an option to help keep people cool during those times. Because I'm telling you, when that heat is beating down and you can open the window, but, you know, nothing's coming out. Right. And it has been an extremely hot, hot, hot summer, hot, hot, hot summer. <laughs> 
So I'm so glad that the fall is here. Anyway, guys, listen, I hope that that has been helpful. That is only a list, a small list, but it did actually grow from the, the, the original list, which was only 10. So I think that was probably about 22 or 23 or 20 something. Things that I love about Prince George's County, Maryland. Now, like I said, Every place has its pros and cons and its goods and the bad. You t you make the most out of it. But yet at the same time, it is good to know that we have such a variety of things to love here in Prince George's County, Maryland. Listen, if you are considering or, or have a desire to move to Prince George's County, Maryland, I will be happy to answer any questions that you have about the area and about the home prices, about the home values, about the, um, you know, the, um, oh, you know what I forgot to mention? We are near bases, um, military bases. Now, here in Prince George's County, Maryland, if, you know, off the top of my head, we only have one that's in Prince George's County, Maryland, and that is Andrews Air Force Base. But there are also bases that are nearby. For example, Bolin Air Force Base is in D.C., and then we have Fort Meade. Fort Meade is, in, is considered to be Anne Arundel uh, County, but we are near military bases. Again, if you or someone you know is interested in moving to uh, Prince George's County, Maryland, or even finding out about the area, subscribe to my channel number one and then also um and then also give me a call and i'll be happy to help with that i'm going to put my information as well as my um my local uh, dmv channel i'm going to put that link in the description all right guys thank you so much for listening and listen i know that no area is perfect but at the same time i love the thought of we the, uh, the thought of us ooh, having so many nice things to do here in the Prince George's County, Maryland, and we welcome you to stop on by. Thanks for listening.